Now that we've divided each of these Fibonacci numbers in the sequence by the numbers two spaces over to the left, let's take that one step further and divide it by something three spaces to the left. Let's take 2584, for example, and divide it by 610. You're going to get 4.236. The further away you get from zero along the sequence, and you divide one of these numbers by the number three spaces to the left, the closer you're going to get to exactly 4.236. So how are you gonna use this in the market? The exact same way we use the 161.8 and the exact same way that we use the 261.8. This gives us the next target. Here we're looking at shares of Nvidia. This is in 2017. Higher lows, higher highs, upward sloping 200 day moving average, clearly in an uptrend. We have a nice consolidation here taking place from the end of 2016 through the spring of 2017 until we finally break out above that resistance. Six months of sideways action. So what's our initial target? Of course, it's right around 137. That would be 161.8% of the entire consolidation that we had for six months towards the end of 2016. So once we reach that level, the market as usual respects it, corrected, but in this case, immediately exceeded it. That's evidence of strength. So while these Fibonacci numbers are important, we also wanna recognize a lot of times the market doesn't care. And the less the market cares, I think the more powerful the signal. So the fact that it initially kissed it in reverse but then got back above it, that means we need to respect this action. So once we get above it, what's our next target? 162. That's the 261.8% extension of that same consolidation. So we get up to that level, the market literally kisses it, reverses, recognizing that there is overhead supply at that level, consolidates for a couple of months, and once again breaks out. So now what do we do? NVIDIA has never been this high. How high can it go? Well, our next target, based on the consolidation over the six month period, now becomes 423.6% of this entire consolidation, or just around $204 a share. So from a risk reward standpoint, we do not wanna be long this market if we're below 162, because that would be evidence of failure up here. So from a risk reward standpoint, the trade becomes very simple. We want to be long only if we're above 162 with a target above 204. And if we're below 162, all bets are off.